for tuning in today to the I Pray Experience here at SABWB. We, we missed last week, but we had other things to do. We hope you pray. Uh, if not, we are praying today. And so we really need to press in today because of all the amazing things that are going on in our world, almost unbelievable things going on in the, in the world, and we need to pray. And so that's what we're going to pray today about some of these things. We're going to focus today. Uh, as the Spirit leads us, we're going to focus on, on children and the education system and how our children are being raised and trained, all those things, because we know parents have the responsibility to raise their children in the fear and admonition of the Lord, and that is being combated and so being challenged every every turn. And so we're going to pray and seek the face of the Lord on behalf of our children and, and recognize what's happening in our education system. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show everybody uh, a video uh, that will help uh, pave the way yeah. for our praying today. And there are a number of scriptures that the Lord will bring to mind, I'm sure. But um, I'm going to show you a video, and um, it's from Intercessors for America. Great video, and it's a it's a video of a, a teacher. He is a he's actually a gym teacher, a sports teacher. And he was giving testimony in front of the school board. Hmm. And I'm telling you what this man said is great. And we need to champion people like this. And So let's just watch this and see how the Lord will, will use it to encourage us in our prayer today. Okay? That's good. Byron Cross. How easy it was to make physical changes to their bodies in just three months. They are now detransitioning. It's not my intention to hurt anyone. My name is Tanner Cross, and I'm speaking out of love for those who suffer with gender dysphoria. 60 Minutes this past Sunday interviewed over 30 young people who transitioned, but they felt led astray because lack of pushback or how easy it was to make physical changes to their bodies in just three months. They are now detransitioning. It's not my intention to hurt anyone, but there are certain truths that we must face when ready. We condemn school policies like 8040 and 8035 because it will damage children, defile, defile the holy image of God. I love all of my students, but I will never lie to them regardless of the consequences. I'm a teacher, but I serve God first, and I will not affirm that a biological boy can be a girl and vice versa because it's against my religion, it's lying to a child, it's abuse to a child, and it's sinning against our God. take courage but we need more of that we need more of that happening yes, in our country in our city in our county we need more christian parents and christian teachers to stand up for the truth mm -hmm. because the devil is not afraid to tell his lies he shouts them far and wide and so we just i want to pray i want to pray this is a difficult thing for most as we were talking earlier for most uh, christians to do they don't want to stand up and so we really need to encourage them to the power of prayer, allow the Holy Spirit to propel the people of God to be those who will stand in this day. Now more than ever, we need to stand. And having done all to keep standing, that's what we need to do. So Father, we just want to thank you and praise you, Lord, for the power of prayer. Lord, you have given us this ability to seek your face. Yes. And, yes. and as we seek your face, we know, Lord God, it is not, it is not anything that we do that is irrelevant. It is absolutely powerful because we are crying out to the one who has all power, all authority, all might, and crying out to the one for whom nothing is impossible. We're crying out to you, King of kings and Lord of lords. We cry out to you because we know you always hear us when we pray. And we thank you and we praise you for the privilege that we have to come into your presence, to seek your face. But we worship you today. We extol you today. We honor you today. We bless your holy name. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for this time of prayer here today. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you will lead us to bring uh, the right words before our Father. The right words before yes. the Lord God Almighty that Lord this this situation will begin to yes. turn toward righteousness toward justice Lord we have to do this because we can see how this this ideology the 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 the, the confrontation the the uh, 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 assault against our children is, is growing yes. 
and it's impacting generation after generation. You care about this stuff. That's why you said from generation to generation, you are God. And so, Lord, we want to pray today that uh, these, these young people, young children, will not have their minds polluted, will not have their minds twisted with this wrong thought or wrong belief systems or wrong things. And that, Lord God, they will go to school and learn the basics that they need to learn. And not, it will not be a, a place where they are um, assaulted in their minds. Lord, we just ask for you to show us how to pray today. Lead us, Holy Spirit, that we might bring this before you in such a way that this will bring change, a change that is sorely needed. We thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for the privilege of praying today. And we thank you for leading us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you so much because you are the truth. And uh, you've, you've written about your truth in your word. And we thank you for the word that we have in our hands that tells who we are and who created us and what we are. We thank you that in the first pages of that book, you created us male and female. That's right. And so, Lord, we thank you for that beautiful, intimate, time in the garden where hmm. you defined who we are and it's pretty clear Lord what the truth is uh, we're different male and female oh, you man. created us and it's pretty clear and we thank you for the clarity of the love and the truth mm -hmm. in which you created us uh, with in the garden of Eden and God, we just pray that, that truth and love would prevail because you're our Father and you were full of love when you created us and we're just asking that truth and love would begin to prevail in this, in this land, oh God. And we thank you for the truth that you put in our hands. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for our children, Lord that the truth would prevail and that lies, the father of lies, there's another father oh, that Lord. is speaking lies, Lord, oh, that we Lord. were born this way. And Lord, it's really a lie. And we're just, we're interceding today that your beautiful truth would prevail and these lies would be cast down. Oh God. Lies that have exalted themselves above the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Laws that have, uh, lies that have been, that have exalted themselves uh, above the truth, above your lovely truth, and really assaulting you as our creator and the love that you had in your heart when you formed each one of us, Lord. Even we were formed before we entered the womb, you formed us, Lord. Mm, that's right. God. Dear Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for your word that we can live our lives by. And yes. dear Lord, today we rebuke the lies of the enemy yes. that is trying to change children. We rebuke those legislators that are trying to implement laws that allow yes. the government to change the, the sex of a child without the parent's knowledge or without the parent's consent. We rebuke these laws. We rebuke those people that, that are trying to get them changed. Dear Lord, help us to come back to your word and live by your word yes. that says the parents are to be respected and the children respect the parents and the parents and the church body will guide them and lead them and, and not let them change themselves, dear Lord. We know that, that in the womb they are formed and they are determined, their, their sex is determined. Let that be the, the basis and let us follow your word in raising these children up and help them if they have issues with their gender. Help us to identify that and help them work through it, not change their bodies. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, 
help us to uh, yes. unite our families and get our families back the division and the lies of the media that's trying to divide our families dear lord help us to encourage families to get back into your word and pray together and have dinner together and worship together and spend time together which is so needed in this fast-paced world with everybody going so many different directions help us to uh, focus on your word dear lord and and make it the foundation of our everyday lives in your name we pray amen lord your word says blessed are those that keep justice and those that do righteousness at all times. And so, Lord, we pray, Lord, for justice to prevail in these children's lives, Lord, that are influenced through the media and these programs and um, the education systems and the laws that are being passed at all levels, Lord. It just feels almost unreal. And so, Lord, I pray that the church would awaken to its purpose and cause to stand for righteousness, to stand for justice, that, Lord, our voice would rise up and that we would not uh, quake or quiver in fear um, for this cancel culture, but, Lord, we would stand for this purpose. And, Lord, your word says that for this purpose was the Son of God manifest to destroy right. the works of the That's enemy. Right. Lord, we are your church and we are your body to destroy the works of the enemy. That's right. And so we pull down these giant that wants to just um, influence our children through this evil agenda. Yes. And, and Lord, we pray for a hedge of protection around these educators. Lord, let this, like this video show, this man who's, who was a teacher, a coach, someone that spoke up, Lord, let more voices rise in our education system, our teachers and our um, places of influence, Lord, that they would walk in. The parents, Lord, we pray for parents to rise up against this, Lord, that their voices would be made heard. And, and, and Lord, I ask for protection over their minds that fear would not drop be the driving force to keep them Lord well it's just if I just protect mm -hmm. my child everything will be okay no Lord it's a societal problem and yes, we right. want yes. to be the influencers in this society so I ask Lord forgive us Lord for for being quiet when you've told us that peace peace is at a cost it's always at a cost there's no way we can escape Lord, this conflict, it is a conflict of the spirit realm, and Lord, we want to stand and oppose the evil, the demonic influencers that are being used to, to um, change even the laws that would say there's, there's no gender, that we get to pick what we are. Oh, Lord, have forgive yes. us. Forgive oh, us, Father. Lord, our hearts mourn for where <coughs> our society is going. Mm -hmm. and Lord, we want to thank you that you have given us what we need to combat this. And we are doing it now as mm -hmm. we seek your face. We thank you, Lord, that we're right now at the moment we're in the place of absolute power. <coughs> and Lord, we thank you and praise you for your power being released to turn yes. this thing around, yes. to right this yes. ship. Lord God, we can see how the enemy is coming in, how he's using people to speak before school boards and mm -hmm. uh, other kinds of educational uh, situations to change the curriculum in schools, to have yes. children believe lies. And we, we, we rebuke that in Jesus' name. And Lord, we say, let the truth Truth prevail. Let the truth, the honest truth, based on your <coughs> word, Lord God, not about fairness, about what is just. Yes, I know you are right. that righteousness and justice is the foundation of your throne. That is the foundation of your ruling and reigning in any situation. So, Lord, we're asking for your justice to prevail yes. over our education system, yes. over our children's lives, that they are not taught things that are untrue. Yes. They are not being going to school and yes. it be a place where they are uh, assaulted with propaganda and all kinds of things of that nature. Lord, yes, we pray yes. a hedge of protection Christ. over the minds, yes. over the hearts, over the spirits yes. of our children. Yes. Lord, we yes. recognize that you care about these things. So from generation to generation, you are God. 
And so we want that to be so, we want it to be so that from one generation to the next, they recognize that you and you only are God. And they give their lives to you as God. They submit to you as God. They receive Jesus Christ as Lord and submit their lives to you as God. And so we pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you will begin to raise up teachers, Christian men and women who are in our school systems to be those who are on the front lines of this battle. Yes. They will recognize that they are where they are because it is a divine plan of God that they be there and that they be you you use them to 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 bring the truth of the Bible, biblical truth yes. to that system, to the education system. And I pray, Lord, that you will give these teachers when yes, thank you for this man who stood, this coach yes. who stood and yes. said so clearly what he believes and what he does not believe, what is right and what is wrong. And I pray that you will multiply him, give us more and more people like that yes. in the education system who are not afraid to stand yes. up and to say what is right. Yes. Come what may, they will do it in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Lord, we just uh, speak that uh, the word in James that says resist the devil yeah. and he will flee from you. Yes. And Lord, I just pray that uh, your church and your people would begin to rise up in our spirit and pray and resist. Right now, Lord, as a group here praying, we stand together to resist yes. the opening that the enemy has come in to uh, to destroy these young lives at an early age. Lord, we resist this yes. work, God, that he has everything he's done, God, to try to open up this uh, these lies into our society. We resist it, Lord. We rise up and say that this will not yes. continue to uh, destroy. We know that the enemy comes to kill and steal and destroy the lives that you have created, Lord, and your plans. And so we resist his work. We resist this evil influence yes. of uh, these laws that are trying to come into our society. And Lord, you have not given us a spirit of fear, no. but of power and love and a sound mind, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, and Jesus. we can rise up, Lord, to push back and to resist this as a group of your people, yes. Father, yes. that your truth yes. will prevail, yes. Lord. And we're just asking God for all of these areas that are affecting uh, the gender mm -hmm. of, of these are your, you have created yes. these children, Lord. And we are resisting this work of the enemy over the lives of these children, oh God. Yes. Ask that your spirit of truth and power and love would prevail. And Lord, I just pray that the love of the Father would be poured out upon this nation, oh God. Yes. The love of the Father, even for the people that are under the, the devil's lies, that the love of God would prevail, Father, and would deal with this rebellion against yes. a yes. loving creator. Yes. It's really a rebellion against mm -hmm. a loving Father. Yeah and what you've created, Lord. And I just pray that your love, that is the strongest, uh, most powerful thing, the love of God Hallelujah. that was uh, manifested through the, the giving of your son's yes. life yes. for these issues, oh yes. God, that it would prevail, yes. that the blood of Jesus would wash over this land mm -hmm. God that's being polluted our schools, our court system mm -hmm. our uh, in our legislation areas God in our in our even in in Christian families oh, Lord Father. this is this is affecting families and God you we have a blood covenant. This is not, this is a strong covenant that we have. Yes, that the blood of Jesus, Lord, and we just ask you, God, to, to forgive us, Lord, where we have backed down and we have been silent and we have not fought. 
for truth and love, yes. God, and just renew us, Lord. I just feel there's a renewing in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. Lord, and we are your army to rise up and to fight for life and truth and love, That's right. Lord, that you represent. So just yes. we thank you that you are empowering your church to yes. rise up yes. in prayer yes. and to resist this, to That's resist right. it and the enemy will flee. Hallelujah. Father, we declare that today it's a new day. We're in a yes. new day. Mm -hmm. I, I remember I felt on the National Day of Prayer that something had shifted. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was something yes. new. It was a, something had happened. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm feeling even more so now yes. that we're in the newness of it. So yes, yes I decree and declare, Lord, we're yes. in a new day. It's yes. a new day for the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're coming out from where we have been. Yes. We're coming out of this um, stupor, this yes. this mm -hmm. cloister yes. thing that we've been in yes. over the last year and a half, mm -hmm. where we haven't been able to see one another, haven't been able to yeah. uh, uh, fellowship with one another, and or even come together in your presence as a, as a church community. And so we say all this is coming to an end, yes. and we're in a new day now, yes. and right. we know that the enemy has tried to separate us from one another and to separate us from you, but we mm -hmm. say that's not going to happen. That's and right. we say now, now we're in a new day, the church is going to enter into to that place that only you can make available to us, and that is yes. your presence. You have you have ripped the wall of partition down Amen. from top to bottom. You, yes. you dealt with that yes. curtain. It was yes. it was rent in two from top to bottom, yes. opening up this way for us to come into the yes. most holy place yes. to seek your face, to cry out to you, yes. to tell you what is on our hearts, what you have placed on our hearts, yes. and to pray out according yes. to your word. And that's what we're doing today, Lord God. We say we're in a new day, and we're in a day where the church stands up, every individual members stand up where yes. they are recognizing Lord that you have placed us where you have placed us to be used of you yes. uh, as an influence in that area, in that yes. space in that location, in that job in yes. that arena, in that sphere whatever it is, you have yes. placed yes. us there to use us yes. and so we pray Lord God, we want to thank you that the church is recognizing that in this day mm -hmm. yes. we are silent no more we're going to be loud we're going to be Bold, we're going to be yes. courageous. Yes. And we're going to speak what you say speak. Mm -hmm. yes. We're going to do what you say do. We're going to go where you say go. But Lord, I want to thank you that as we do that, we do that not in anger. We do it in love. Mm -hmm. Because everything that you do is in love. It's motivated by love. Yes. And let, I recognize, Lord, that your love is, a, is the most strongest force on the face of the earth. It's because of that love that you sent your son. It's because of that love that Jesus left his place in glory, took on human flesh, and not only that, he took our sins upon himself, was tortured on a cross because of that love. And so, Lord, we recognize that your love is the strongest force on the face of this earth. Mm -hmm. And so we pray, Lord God, that we as members of the body of Christ will recognize your love for what it really is. Yes. It's not some wishy-washy, squishy thing that takes anything that's dished out in it. Right. Your love is a standard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your love is true. Yes. Your love strong. is strong. Just. And so we thank you for the power of your love arming us as a people of God, that as we stand in this new day, declaring who you are, declaring what your word says, declaring what is truly right and just according to your word, that as we do this in every arena, in every sphere of life, mm -hmm. that, Lord, your word would go forth with power mm -hmm. and your spirit will use it to draw people to yourself, to open eyes. Mm -hmm. We're People have been blinded mm -hmm. by the barrage of lies they've heard, and they continue to hear yes. on the media, on social media, in so many places. And it's almost like they've been deadened. Mm -hmm. And so we pray right now that as your people, as we stand up and decree who you really are and what you have really said and your mm -hmm. standards in the earth, mm -hmm. that all over our city and beyond, all over our nation, eyes will open. People will have that aha Thank moment Jesus. to recognize that something has happened and we Thank have been tricked, we lied to, mm -hmm. 
and we will not stand for it any longer. We're now going to stand up, and we're going to proudly oh, declare what you have yeah. said. Lord, we said, let this be what we begin to see more and more and more in our city and our nation in Jesus' name. And Lord, you, your word, and Jesus said that when he was leaving his disciples, he told them, I have to leave to send a, a comforter, so the Holy Spirit to come to, or the purpose would be to convict the world of That's sin. That's right. That's right. And to bring our great comforter. And so, Lord, <clears throat> we just thank you for the Spirit of God that goes before us. Holy Spirit, that you have come to bring great conviction, Lord, to those that have rebelled against you, that have uh, been blinded by the God of this world. And Lord, that spirit is so powerful and so convicting that it can change. Hallelujah. It can change a nation, it can yes. change a people, it can change a person. So Lord, we decree and we stand in that promise the Holy Spirit is here Hallelujah. in this time, in this season, in our lives to bring conviction, Lord, upon Hallelujah. this city, upon this nation, upon this world, Lord, to bring truth, all truth. And we, we put our hope and our trust in that truth. That's right. And that understanding, Lord, that it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your Spirit. And we just are so grateful, Holy Spirit. Yes. You are a living Amen. person of God that Hallelujah. brings that truth. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. Dear Lord, we just thank you for that Holy Spirit that lives within each of us. And dear Lord, we pray that anyone listening here, that they will rise up and be bold in your word and go to school boards. I just pray for those parents that are concerned, that are so busy that they don't have time, that their heart leads them to go to that school board mm -hmm. too. Uh, make sure that their children are getting the right education and not led wrongly and that they don't have to wear a mask that that has increased suicide rate in children 400 percent we need to stop that we need to stop the school boards that are voting those things in that are abusing our children we need to live by your word and i just pray for those people that the spirit rustles up their heart to give them the boldness and then make the time and the energy to care for their children and dear lord another thing is we need the sex trafficking that's burdening our children i mean when mm -hmm. you have a seven-year-old it's left dead because she's been abused by a hundred men i mean dear lord we have a problem mm -hmm. we need to open up our eyes we need to become more familiar yes. with the uh sexually abused mm -hmm. Uh, symptoms that are that that children have we need to watch for these within our children to help fight this ugly evil and we need parents to be more aware and get more educated so that we can help know how to help our children and to save our children we they are our future dear Lord we need to save them and do whatever we can so I just pray for those parents to rise up to help our school districts to yes. get involved yes. and make sure that our children have the right education and are not misled, dear Lord yes. Jesus. And dear Lord, I also want to pray for the up and coming runoff election. Mm -hmm. We believe that Patrick Bundolan is God's choice for District 9 and Jada Andrews for District 2. We pray that, but that we can restore businesses and cause them to prosper throughout San Antonio, the mm -hmm. United States and the world. And we continue for prayer for the corruption in our nation, that it be rebuked and ex and gotten rid of and bound, the corruption yeah. in our nation, our state, and our city, that, yeah. that all the evil will be exposed and uprooted. Mm -hmm. Dear God, we pray that you will change our educational system to re create a curriculum that would remove perverted living and promote godly principles. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, we pray that people will come into a real relationship with you mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and, and tear down religious mindset. Yes. Dear Lord, we pray for the body of Christ yes. to come together as people and not divide over mm -hmm. race. Yes. Dear Lord, we pray that this will be a season of breakthrough for the people of God. Mm -hmm. yes. And dear Lord, we pray that God would cause new and seasonal leaders to walk together in mm -hmm. unity, yes. humility, mm -hmm. pureness of heart, and with one another. Dear Lord, we our, we need a revival in this yes. this this city, this state, yes. this nation, and yes. we know that you're listening, and we know it's in your timing. And dear Lord, we just 
look forward to the revival that's coming. Yes. As Natalie said, it's happening, it's starting, mm -hmm. and we're just so thankful that you are listening to our prayers, and we're yes. thankful that you are an awesome God, that you will help us when we cry to you, because yes. we know that, that those that delight themselves in the Lord, that you will give us the desires of our heart. And we just thank you for your word, dear Lord Jesus, that we can live by. In your name we pray. Amen. Father, the desire of our heart is that your kingdom come and your will yes. be done yes. in every area of life. Mm -hmm. And so we yes. thank you and praise you, Lord, that that doesn't happen uh, by happenstance. It happens because someone stands up and champions what you champion because you put your word in our mouths and you move upon us by your spirit and your word becomes flesh in us. And Lord, we, we pray that as you are continuing to do this in the hearts of your people, that Lord, you will have those men and women in the education system that will stand up and will, 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 will yeah. do the right thing, that there will be <clears throat> men and women of God who are running for election in school boards, running for those positions, serving in those positions, and, and, and recognizing that yes. they are there to serve what is, what is true, what is, what is your word, yes. not just what is fair, but what is your word, what is truth. And we pray in the name of Jesus that we will have more and more um, Christians who will stand up to, to hold those positions, yes. who will run for those mm -hmm. positions, and will be elected to those positions, yes. recognizing, Lord, that all that they do is, is for our children to grow up to, properly. Yes. And we yes. pray <clears throat> and pray in Jesus' name that you will do this, that you'll, <clears throat> you will bring a spirit of conviction in the heart of current school board members in the heart of current legislators, yes. city council members, elected officials, that they will <clears throat> be convicted by your Holy Spirit. Yes. And they will serve you. They will see that they what they have been doing is not right, is not good, is not, is not productive. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that a real conviction will come upon them by you, that you by your Spirit will bring conviction to them. They will have that aha moment where they wake up and they realize yes. this is not right. And Lord, I don't know how best to say it, but it is like an aha moment, an yes. instantaneous awakening yes. that they recognize yes. that where they have been is not right. Yes. It is not, right. It's not productive. Yes. And Lord, I'm asking yes. in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. that you do this. Yes. And that can only happen by you, Holy Spirit, yes. coming upon these That's people right. and causing them to wake up. Right. Wake up out of the yes. stupor. Wake up out of the this Let dark nightmare that the enemy has perpetrated over our nation. And we ask, oh God, for awakening yes. to come upon this yes. nation and yes. impact, impact everything. Yes. Impact everything. Yes. Because, Lord, that's the only thing that's going to change. There's going to be an awakening from you, a true revival that touches yes. every life, every heart, that's every right. home, every mind, every school, yes. every right. business, all of life. Oh, and, Lord, yes. we're asking that you do that. We ask the Holy Spirit oh, for yes. you to so move yes. in these days. Lord, we're believing you. We know that it's, it's time for a great awakening yes. to take place. And, Lord, we said we yes. know Lord. that it's part of on your time schedule. We said, yes. Lord, let it begin to happen in full swing oh, now. Yes, let it begin yes. to take over now. Let it begin to happen yes. in, in place after place and heart after heart. And that, Lord God, there will be a restor restoration of joy, yes. a restoration Amen. of true joy in our nation because they will recognize, we will recognize that you are really in control. Yes. And we say, Lord God, let this be. Let it happen. Yes. Lord, move by you. You were exalted and you walked into the land with a mighty revival lord and we declare uh, that this is a time for revival that it's here it's not coming it's already hallelujah, here hallelujah. the circumstances have uh, are activating yeah. this revival mm -hmm. this the very circumstances right. that we're in are are uh, putting fire That's right. in the land lord mm -hmm. and our our many amazing things are happening and, you know, we just uh, want to tell those of you who are praying along with us today that uh, realize this, that as we speak the manifold wisdom of God, manifold wisdom means many of us exactly. are speaking. It's mm -hmm. not just one or two, but it's also you out there beginning to pray and speak the word of God over your children, yes. over negative circumstances. Yes. 
as we declare the in Ephesians it says that the manifold wisdom of God might be known to the principalities right. and powers. Mm -hmm. We are speaking to the principalities and powers what God is wanting to do. That's and right. they have to leave. When they hear this, God is done with these principalities that have been moving in a certain yes. direction. And yes. as we declare that, they have to flee because it's Him. It's His will yes. to bring revival. It's His will to reach the youth and to reach the young people. And Lord, I'm thinking of how you came to the man who was sitting at the tomb mm. and he was in bondage. Mm -hmm. and, and Lord, I believe that that is the youth of today. Mm. And I believe when you got to, you came on the scene and the Bible says when he saw Jesus, and we're about to see Jesus oh, because yes. this yeah. next prayer movement yes. that we are doing is going to rent the veil. Oh, uh, like Natalie, you said that earlier. The veil's going to be rent and the presence of Jesus is going to be released in, a, in one of the greatest revivals we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And as this happens, uh, the the man at the tomb who was listening to lies was set free. Yeah. He began to worship when Jesus came on the scene and you totally set him free. And, and the Bible says he was naked. I believe that speaks to the immorality and the sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And it says when you came on the scene, he was clothed and sitting in his right mind and his bondages and his chains were broken. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, I know that you're coming, mm -hmm. you're, a, gonna, you're appearing, your mm -hmm. appearance is going to change things. Mm -hmm. yes. And we just declare this, yes. that this wisdom of yours, it's oh. not just a few people saying yes. this. Right. This is the manifold wisdom of God that oh, yeah. the nations are yes. going to come oh. into a unprecedented, worldwide revival Hallelujah. Yes, and we Hallelujah. thank you for your plans yes. we thank you that heaven is ready and has been preparing yes. for this time yes. and that your plans are going to fall upon your people yes. and get ready I'm just telling uh, if you're listening to get ready for the man, the wisdom of God to yes. fall upon you and give you direction and inspire you in your praying Hallelujah. and the directions that God may have you do something that you never thought you could do. Yes. He may put something in you to, mm -hmm. to run for the city council. He yes. may have you do something else, but get ready to receive uh, the the unction and the wisdom from above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's going to be an outpouring of it upon God's people. Yes. Well, we know you know how to marshal your assets, and we, mm -hmm. the people of God, we are your assets in yeah. the earth. We are hand extended to a lost and dying mm -hmm. world. We are the light that goes into the darkness. Mm -hmm. And so I want to thank you that that's the truth. That's who we are. Right. And I thank you that we as a body of Christ, we are learning now mm -hmm. more than ever who we are. Yes. And that we are <clears throat> going to intentionally go into the darkness, not with any kind of bravado, but because we're hearing your voice mm -hmm. saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Go there. <coughs> do this. Go there. Say that. And when we hear you pointing us in that direction or giving us by your spirit the inspiration to step out, it's going to happen. It's going to happen right. repeatedly over and over That's again. Right. And Lord, I want to I want to thank you for doing that because now is the time for the light to penetrate the darkness and, and in our cities, in our nation, and the darkness must flee. It cannot That's be there right. any longer. That's and right. these ideologies that are from <coughs> the pit of hell, they mm -hmm. cannot prosper in our That's nation. Right. We rebuke that That's in the right. name of Jesus. Right. We say, no, this, this nation is the United States of America. That's we are right. a Christian this nation this despite the any declaration to the opposite. Right. We are a Christian nation That's and right. we say there is a love for the word of God in this nation and that we yes. want to yes. live in. We love not only the word of God, we love the God of the word. Yes. yes. 
And we said we will live for you, King Jesus. We will live for you, Lord God Almighty. You are our God. You are our Father. You are our Savior. You are our Deliverer. You are the one in whom we live and have our being. No other yes. place. And we thank you and we praise you that that understanding is growing in the hearts of your people in these days. And that is part of why we are standing up so boldly yes. and so strongly in these days to declare who you are. And we're not ashamed of the gospel of right. Christ because we know that it is the power of God unto salvation to yes. all who believe. We know it. Yes. We are recipients of it. We are benefits Thank of it. You, and so we know it by experience. And we want everyone else to have that experience as well. And so those who have had that experience, we, we pray that they will have the exit of the Holy Spirit upon them. And they will stand up and they will be bold in declaring who you are, yes. what you have said, and what you are saying. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I just I pray for those prayer intercessors and those mamas and fathers mm -hmm. that have been praying. And maybe they're discouraged because they've been hearing a, a revival's coming, revival's coming, and they have mm -hmm. experienced... Uh, dryness. They have experienced nothing close to revival. And the enemy yes. would try to use that to yes. bring discouragement and hopelessness and despair and just give up. Don't pray anymore. What does it do? It doesn't do any good. Lord, we just come against that. Yes. That I spirit do. of despair and discouragement yes. that would try to tear down the body of Christ, tear down the intercessors to, to give up in a hopeless way because the Bible says that Hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's right. And so, Lord, we pray against that hopelessness, yes. and we pray for hope, That's right. Lord, to rise up, that the, the gifts of the Spirit would be stirred up within your yes. body. The Lord. gifts of the Spirit would stir up the intercessor, that, Lord, oh, they would yeah. lift their eyes to heaven, to where their hope comes from, their That's help right. comes from, that you are the God of all hope and help, Lord. That nothing is too difficult for you, Lord. That's right. And that, Lord, you are for us. You are not against us. And, Lord, that we can stand and see the salvation of the Lord is today. It is now. It is Amen. here. And we put that hope and faith in you. We do not act based on what we see. We act mm -hmm. in faith. We Hallelujah. stand strong. Lord, as the body of Christ, we know you are with us, Lord. You are performing Amen. your word before us, and we thank you that we can stand in that truth and faith. That's right. Lord, even as the psalmist has said, why art thou cast down, mm -hmm. O my soul? Why are you disquieted? Why am I disquieted within me? Mm -hmm. Hope thou in God. Yes. That's what you said in your word. Yes. And let, we recognize that, Lord, our, our our faith and our focus must be on you. Yes. Not on ourselves, not on the circumstances, right. because circumstances change. Mm -hmm. And so we will not focus on the circumstances. We will not look at the winds and how they're blowing. Right. We'll look at you. We'll keep our eyes fixed yes. on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. And we will not, we will not uh, falter. We will not give up in these days. And yes, where things have not happened when we thought they would happen, or, or the way we thought they, they would happen, Lord, I pray that by your Spirit you will cause us to remember to keep our eyes fixed on you, yes. to keep our thoughts fixed on who you are, mm -hmm. not on the circumstances, not on the, on the timing, but focused That's on right. you. Yes. Lord, the, our times are in your hands. Everything yes. is in your hands. Yeah. And so I pray that you, you remind us by your spirit, the way you so beautifully do, that we are to focus on you, to keep our eyes fixed on you. Yes. Because all these things around us, they are transient. They will change. Mm -hmm. One way or another, they will change. But Lord God, you are in control. You are in control of everything. Right. And you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change not. Mm -hmm. And so we pray that as believers, we will keep our eyes fixed on you. Mm -hmm. And as we do that, we'll have our ears open to hear what you're saying. We'll be attuned to what you're saying so that we are ready to move and do whatever you say do. Yeah. Whenever you say do it. And we're not going to be... Uh, sort of keeping a checklist of what you've done and what you've not done. We know that for you, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. Right. It's because we know that you are in control. Mm -hmm. And so we thank you and praise you that we know this, that more and more the body of Christ is coming to this place where we cannot yeah. be controlled by what's happening in the world around us. We have to be focused on you on the infallibility of your word, the yes. finality of your word. You said, yes. Jesus said it was forever settled in heaven. It's done. Yes. It is done. 
And so we thank you and praise you that that is what we as a body of Christ are focused on, that which is true, that which is done, that which is settled in heaven. Yes. And that that is the true measure of things. Yes. Lord, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we do not look at things by the standard of the world. We look at things by the standard of the word of God. Yeah. And Lord, we have to be reminded of that. Holy Spirit, continue to remind us of that. Mm -hmm. Because yes, we recognize that we're being bombarded left, center, right, and center. All kinds of ways to have our, uh, our confidence dealt with yes. negatively. Yes. So we say, Lord God, we're not going to fall for the enemy's tricks. We're going to yes. remember that your word is forever settled in heaven. And regardless of how long it takes, Lord, we are on the winning side. Yes, yes, Jesus. Yes, we are on the winning side because you've called us as victor victors, yes. victorious. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Thank you. Lord, I just want to pray for brotherhood. <clears throat> Lord, like, like the song says, crown thy good with brotherhood. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, that is a, a beautiful song, and we pray. We know that you love brotherhood. Yes. That is at the top of your list is mm -hmm. unity and love among the brethren, yes. Lord. Mm -hmm. And Father, I just ask that a sweeping move of uniting and brotherhood yes. and the love of our Father who created all of us in every nation black like we're here with black brown and white yes. lord you created us and lord i pray every year through the years we've gotten better at this Hallelujah. we've gotten better but we're still not good enough lord we want to be better yes. at loving yes. and father i just pray that the the division between black brown and white starting in with the little children uh, and yes. among families yeah. that brotherhood would become so strong yes. because that comes from your heart you yes. said if there's anything against you and your brother leave your mm -hmm. gift That's right. at the altar and reconcile That's right. so we just pray for a spirit of reconciliation among brethren lord yes. that we would truly realize that we are one blood mm -hmm. we are all right. one blood right. in the blood of jesus and that i pray that little black children little brown children little white children would all see themselves as one yes. that these lines of division would get uh less and less and less and last, Lord, we declare that that is your heart yes. and that is your will. And we will bring down those lines of division yes. ourselves with Hallelujah. our love. Yes. And that you give us your eyes, Lord, to see each other as you see us, Lord. Yes. We know that, that we have come short of the glory of God. I believe the true glory is loving one another with a pure love. And I, I'm not talking about a, a cheap love. I'm talking about the love of the Father that pays the right price. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just believe this kind of love can inundate mm -hmm. our society. Just like we've seen a lot of rain lately, just raining down. I pray that the love of the Father, that your love would just rain down on us and cause us to to truly love each other and lock arms together and not break rank and, and help each other. Mm -hmm. Lord, I know this can happen. Yes. This is, to me, this is revival, yes. is brotherly love. And, and I just pray, Lord, that it would come down and be poured out yes. the love of Jesus that even was able to love evil people. Lord, you call you didn't call us just to love good people. You called us to love our enemies. That's right. So Lord, and right now we're asking that you inundate us with your supernatural love that can even put fire, coals of fire up on our enemies, Lord. Mm -hmm. We need that kind of love operating. And Lord, 
we do fall short of this kind of love, but mm -hmm. we know that you will give us what we need. Yes. If we fall short of anything, you're going to supply it. So yes. we're as we pray, Lord, we're asking, I can just almost see you pouring out what we need to live and operate in this kind that's of love. Right. Oh, that's God. right, that's right. Lord, do it, I pray. We yes. love all the little children, Lord. We love them, and we know you love them. Every, like that song, you love all the little children. Red and yellow, black and white, oh God. You, they are precious in your sight. And I pray that as we look into the eyes of children, whatever color they are, that we would show them the love of Jesus and, your, and the love of the Father. And we thank you, God, that we've been created in your image. Mm -hmm. Lord, you said, suffer the children to come unto me and forbid them yes. not. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You said, forbid them not. You said, for those who do forbid them, <laughs> you... you it should a That's dire right. warning. You said it'd be like a millstone to be tied around their neck mm -hmm. and thrown in, in yes. the midst of the sea. Come yes. on. Yes. Well, that's how serious you are yes. for our children to not be led astray. Yes. And so with that same Jesus. passion for children, I pray that you will raise up teachers and parents in this yes. day to stand against what is happening in our yes. school system, yes. to, to, to twist their minds and ways contrary to what you have said. And that, Lord, with that same passion, with a yes. true love for our children, to recognizing that they are uh, called by you to be quivers in our hands. Yes. As Father, you said that they are quivers in our hands, that they are our heritage, they are good things. And so we thank you and praise you for children. We thank you and praise you for uh, people standing up in support of children, that, and, and boys and girls, where you yes. have designed us where you have created us, where you've knit us together in our mother's wombs, and you made us on purpose with purpose. Mm -hmm. And so, Father, you never make any mistakes because you are God and you cannot make mistakes. You are, you are good in all that you do. You are perfect in all that yes. you do. And so we thank exactly. you and praise you for all that yes. you do. Thank you and praise you for all that you are doing. Lord, even though there is so much happening, Lord, there is so much more happening that you are doing. Mm -hmm. And so we do pray that you will open our eyes to, to be attuned to see what yes. you are doing, mm -hmm. to not allow what the enemy is doing to sort of uh, cloud our vision. Mm -hmm. But Lord, we'll keep our eyes fixed on you and what you're doing. And Lord, as we do that, we'll stay encouraged, we'll stay empowered, we'll stay engaged, and we'll stay, Lord, with you doing what you want us to do yes. and with each other. We want to thank you for doing that. Thank you, Father, for continuing to work your perfect work in our education system every part of yes. it with teachers parents yes. uh, 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 counselors everyone in the education system lord god being impacted by your spirit and being used by you to sow into the lives of our children yes. and to educational administration and to the principals and to administrators every single person in the system will be impacted by your spirit we say the light is coming the light is going to enter into that darkness and the darkness must flee mm -hmm. That's just the way it works. That's just the way it is, Lord. We say, Lord, thank you for what you're doing, what you're going to do. Thank you for children coming to know that they are who you say they are. Not what they hear on television or on the news or radio or on some game. Lord, it's what you have said. And we thank you and praise you for what you have said and what you are saying. Father, continue, continue to use us as your people to share the truth of who you are, to share the truth of what you have said, and to share the truth of what you are saying. And we bless you for that. Lord, we want to thank you that you always hear us when we pray. Yes, Jesus. And because of that, we know our labor is not in vain in you. We thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you for the hearts, the lives, the situations, everything that you're impacting because we came here today mm -hmm. together. And Lord, we know that there is a power in agreement. You said if we touch and agree on anything that we shall ask in your name, we'll have it. And so we say thank you. Thank you for the power to pray, the freedom to pray, mm -hmm. the right to pray. Thank you for enforcing that in us and through us. We bless you and we thank you for it in Jesus' name.
Wow. Sometimes Ooh. I can't imagine how quickly this how it goes. Yes. I know. It's this like you, you're not done on that. <laughs> Thank you for praying with us today. Mm -hmm. We'll be here next week. We'll be here every week. Uh, so keep, keep praying with us. Keep asking, Lord, how you can pray. If you're not praying with us here on a Friday, how you can pray wherever you are. Uh, and all of that works, all of that matters, all of that is use of God to cause His will to be done. So thank you for joining us today. Bless you. So much synergy. Yes. Hello, my name is Natalie Hardy from SABWV, San Antonio in Black, White, and Brown. Every Friday morning at 10 a.m., we are at this table seeking the face of God on behalf of our city. And if you didn't know that, I wanted you to know so that you can tune in with us and pray with us, whether we do it on that same time or after the fact and uh, look at a broadcast and pray with us after the fact. Every voice counts. So join with us on Friday morning, and we look forward to praying with you. Bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> but then on the side I said, but I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs>